Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome to uh, The Hungry Bleak Presents uh, Movie and Series News Updates. Once again, I am Antonio Pomares, and the man across from me, kind of, sort of, maybe, y'all already know, he is the cinema CEO, he is the cinema god, this is Michael Williams, y'all. <laughs> What's up, y'all? <laughs> Thank you, brother, for being here as my co-host, my wingman for this. Um, okay. how, how are you feeling today? I'm good, bro. The production budget for this show has gone through the roof, I see. <laughs> the IRS, brother. I got to gotta calm down with that, brother. You got to calm down. All right. You ready to jump into this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So there's some really, <clears throat> excuse me, um, cool things are happening in uh, in TV and everything like that. So let's start with one of the first things is My Adventure with Superman Season 2 was... Um, was uh the trailer for it was presented yesterday mm -hmm. um i'm very excited about this uh if you were a fan of the first season which i was uh, i was very lighthearted, fun um just had a lot of really great stuff to it telling the story of a young uh superman um and lois and and uh and jimmy mm -hmm. and how they become these reporters at the uh at the at the um the my god why can't i even remember the name of the damn title of, of, of the title? newspaper yeah. <laughs> the daily yeah. title? <laughs> yes brother well i i almost said a daily bugle because somebody still owes me pictures of spider-man but anyway <laughs> um what have you so this is gonna be great uh the trailer shows a lot we actually are going to be introduced to uh a, a young lex luthor mm -hmm. which i'm excited about and we'll also see a blonde baby girl Mm -hmm. And then it's obviously going to be uh, Kara Zorel, mm -hmm. uh, a Supergirl. I'm excited about this. It was really fun. I didn't realize that Jack Quaid was the voice of Clark Kent Superman. I didn't realize that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. which makes me very happy because um, I'm a huge fan of his anyway, obviously, from uh, The Boys. Mm -hmm. um, and just the fact he seems like just a really nice, fun guy. So, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, so this is going to be um, it's going to be May 25th at midnight. Uh, to 1 a.m. on Toonami. It'll be a one-hour uh, premiere for the second season. Mm -hmm. And next day, it will be on probably around like maybe 8 o'clock uh, uh, p.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time, I want to say. will probably premiere on Max, so you can stream it there, what have you. Uh, I'm very excited. This is a great one. Have, have you watched the series, brother? I have. I did see the first season, and I, I really liked it a lot. Yeah, I, I feel like it's very good. It actually, this is how much i enjoy it i'm not a big superman reader i mm -hmm. can't remember last time i read a superman comic truthfully this made me made me go i actually want to read a, a couple of superman comics so i actually bought one the other day mm -hmm. so i like that fact i like the humor the anime feel of it it was received very well um anime style is great and it introduced a lot of characters that you may not have thought that you would have seen and mm -hmm. in very in the first season we got live wire and we got at the end we found out that it was deathstroke i mean you may have known beforehand but we found out we were seeing Deathstroke the whole time during the whole season. Yeah. Enjoyed. Um, I'm ready for more of that. So thank you very much. But you know what else I'm ready for, brother? This has been a runaway hit that really knocked a lot of us out, me in particular, probably. And that is X-Men 97. It has become a huge fan hit. Yes, sir. Huge hit. Huge hit. Uh, as of this recording, I'm seeing the first seven episodes. Didn't see okay. the episode yet. I'll probably watch that. Later on tonight, and discussed with uh, Danny, but um, yes, uh, I have been more than impressed with this, and it's almost kind of at the zeitgeist of fandom right now. As far as like, you see people posting about it all the time. You see people with high anticipation for what's next. Um, it's been amazing. Like today, I actually saw. Uh, uh, it looks like Airbnb took one of their properties and turned it into uh, the X Mansion. Now, whether that's just temporarily for today, or they have it set up as like an actual like thing you can go visit, it's pretty crazy. You, you should look it up on Airbnb's Instagram page. Oh wow. Because it's it's there and it looks amazing <laughs> yes I, I have to check that out i i would like to, i i would like to see something like that um mm -hmm. what i'm thinking is if they're doing that what i think a great thing would be 
Mm -hmm. You know what's coming up soon. Yes. In uh, October, mm -hmm. that October event, New York Comic Con. This is going to be a huge. I would love to see some type of maybe interactive. Yeah. If if they're doing an Airbnb thing like that. Mm -hmm. um, what do you feel is the next step for the show? Now, have there been any spinoffs that are going to be a part of this? Have, have they said already? No, they haven't really talked about spinoffs per se. Mm -hmm. uh, they are committed to a season two, which we probably knew since the beginning, maybe even before that first episode dropped. Mm -hmm. But it also looks like they're looking to commit to a season three. Um, and uh, I think what it's done, though, is it's opened up this possibility of restarting some of these other Marvel animated shows that have come before or after, you know, X-Men 92. Like, there's been talks about trying to do, uh, uh, I mean, there were already talks about doing an um, animated Spider-Man show, which they already had, in, had plans on and is going to come on Disney Plus at some point. Hmm. Uh, that show was, I think that show was titled, uh, it, it had something more to do with like Spider-Man Homecoming, that show, the one that I okay. knew about, but now they're talking about maybe bringing back like the Spectacular Spider-Man show or something like that and, and giving it the 97 kind of update. So, oh, Spectacular Spider-Man was the one that was on MTV, correct? Uh, I think so. No, no, excuse me. No, no, no. That was Disney Plus. There was another one that was on MTV that was more like almost like a um, yeah, digital like like computer almost anime, like a blend of that. That's awesome. I would really like to see that. I know that they've shown a lot because it's part of the Disney has more um move movement out with all of the Marvel products. I know they've been showing more of the different mutants in yeah. the X universe. Yes, I would love to see because I've seen them a couple of times. I would love to see an X Force because I've seen you yeah. know. Maddox, you've seen Strong Guy during the whole um, uh, when they were searching for any survivors or trying to rebuild uh, Genosha. Yeah, yeah. I'm like highly, highly excited about that, dude. I mean, Seriously. I think this, I honestly think that this opens up the doors all the way open for mm -hmm. the animated division at this point, right? Because, you know, to a certain extent, what if was, could have been perceived as a fluke as far as it being the hit that it was that first mm -hmm. season of the way? But now that you have this, like, it opens up the doors for you to do other stories that don't necessarily have to be theatrical. Or you can use it as a test balloon to say, well, if it works in animation, maybe we can try to move it to a theatrical type thing. But to me, I think that that's where they've kind of been lacking this whole time is in their animated part. Because they've surrendered so much to DC like this kind of puts them on that path to kind of challenge them directly. You know what I mean? I want to say this is a, a really great pivot for them. Yes. And I think this is a smart move for them. And this opens up a lot of doors, like, like you were saying, to different properties, properties that we didn't even think that we could get. I mean, we could be going more of the supernatural route. We could, Dr. Strange, they could do a Midnight Suns easily. Yes. I mean, you know, um, right now, um, Marvel has their Blood Hunt event, which is a vampire event, which is going more supernatural, obviously darker side. They could go with this easy. I mean, imagine we saw always glimpses of, of him, but Ghost Rider as an animated series. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This could do that. We saw glimpses of him in the Fantastic Four series and in, in the Spider-Man animated series. Yes. So this is exciting. I want to see more. Do you know how many episodes X-Men 97 is supposed to be for the first season? Is it 10? 10. 10? Okay. So, Yeah. And 10 is a perfect number. I'm really happy about this. And let's see where we go. Mm -hmm. So um, next thing we're going to talk about is we have Amazon's Cross. So this is based on, I believe, James, James Patterson books, I want to say. I think so. Yes. I believe it's James Patterson books. Well, this one caught me off guard because it was reported that Amazon's Alice Cross series for Am for Amazon uh, was on starring out all this Hodge was already renewed for a second season. I automatically said, wait, when was the first season? I totally missed it. Didn't even realize. It. I'm like, damn. So I remember hearing about series before. Turns out the series has not even premiered yet, but they're happy with it. And they're going with season two already. A huge fan of all this Hodge um, mm -hmm. ever since leverage mm -hmm. um, underground. 
he was actually my first pick before Chadwick's name was even mentioned. He was my pick for Black Panther mm-hmm. because he has the gravitas. He has the presence. He has that big smile. He's got the incredible looks, um, everything. And I believe he has a martial arts background as well. Mm-hmm. And he does different accents and voices very well. He did it when he was on Leverage. Yes. I'm very excited about this. Um, Alex Cross is a is a favorite character of mine. I loved uh, uh, Morgan Freeman's interpretation of him. But I also enjoyed, calm down, folks. I also enjoyed <laughs> Tyler Perry's movie about him as well because I like seeing a young Cross and how he became that guy. I know that movie wasn't well received because of, uh, you know, whatever it was. Mm-hmm. But I enjoyed that. So I'm excited to see this and to see him playing this uh, this uh, uh, crime thriller, psychological thriller character. Mm-hmm. I'm all in for this, man. Seriously. Yeah, bro. Thank, thank, thank you for putting this on my radar because I didn't even hear anything about this until you mentioned it today. So, um, yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to this. Like, Amazon is really killing it with some of these things that they're putting out right now. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to just checking this out. Yeah, I mean, Amazon is really coming with a lot of great series that are out. So if this is going to be on that level, and if you give me like, I mean, most recently we have the, the biggest hit I can say as far as like live action, I'll say was Reacher was awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, phenomenal series. Um, if, if we're going to go full spectrum, um, Invincible obviously is just mm-hmm. um, an, an incredible adaptation. So this is another one um, that we can hopefully go into. And I love seeing the fact of getting something with uh, Aldous Hodge. He's just one of those characters, those actors I go give him something on a weekly basis where we can see him every week because he 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 brings you in with everything truthfully um and he's so much fun to watch he looks like he's enjoying himself and he's just a talent there honestly awesome awesome so congratulations to him everybody a part of this hopefully we'll get the actual premiere date of the actual first season soon Mm -hmm. i would hope so but yeah congratulations to him honestly uh and then the last one that we have also for amazon yes obviously is them the scare debuted on amazon Mm -hmm. oh brother how did you feel about it (laughs) i actually like the second season uh Mm -hmm. if you guys if you guys watching us remember that we talked about the first season a while ago on uh, an episode of fandom initiative go back and watch those those you know past episodes if you'd like (laughs) um i wasn't all that crazy about that first season Hmm. and uh I don't know, like when I saw you and Takia this past weekend, you kind of put a bug in my ear to kind of watch that because I knew it was coming and I just didn't know it was up. And I actually knocked out the show in two days. Oh, wow. (laughs) Week. How many episodes is it? Eight? Eight. Yes. Yes. But uh, I like it a lot. I think it. I think it flows for me better in the second season than the first season. And uh, there's a huge twist in this show. There, there are two huge twists in this show. Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't want to give it away for anyone who hasn't seen it yet. But yeah, when you get to those twists, you're like, what? <laughs> That's kind of like how, how you would react to it. Yeah. And what's the other uh, premise for this second season? Because it's not a it's not a continuation of the first season because it's an anthology series. Mm-hmm. So what's the uh, premise of this second season? The premise for the season is that we are in uh, 1991 Los Angeles, just fresh off of uh, the Rodney King situation, mm-hmm. and there is a, a, a black woman who is a detective who is on the hunt for what she thinks is a possible serial killer in Los Angeles. And the show pretty much deals with her trying to solve that case, but it also deals with the obvious, you know, transgressions of being a black female detective in Los Angeles in the 90s Mm -hmm. on a predominantly white police force, right? So... There's an inherent horror that's enclosed in that situation, but it's also the horror that she's dealing with trying to catch this guy 
who is killing random people. Hmm. And that's that's all I'll say. I can't really say anything other than that. Yeah, I, I, I remember our, our conversation about the first season because I know mm -hmm. because a big I, I know the big problem you had with it was the pace was the pacing and the order of episodes. Yes. So they've corrected that with this season. Yes. You would say with, with it. Yes. yes. It almost feels like seven ish in a way. And that's high praise for really. The seven is one of my favorite films. Yeah, that's one of the best. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's almost seven ish in a way. Yes. Okay. Not, not quite there, but almost. It's almost there. Yeah. Have you heard of? Or have you heard word of? There's going to be a third season of them, or not so much? Because this is not. But what I can tell you is the way that it ends. Mm -hmm. There could possibly be a third season. A third season that would connect to this second season? Yes. Okay. All right. Or be cool. some other interpretation that is loosely connected. Yes. Oh, from what happens in this season that would, yes. the second season that would have. Okay. Mm -hmm. I haven't tried it. I'm um, the first season. I've already um, said how, how I feel about it, so I'm not going to go back and say it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I would like to see this, this season actor looks completely terrifying just from the trailers and previews that I've seen. Yeah, played by Luke James from, um, he's from The Shy. He plays the councilman on The Shy. He's also a, oh, okay. he's also a singer in real life. This, this guy, he, he's, a he's, found, he's found his calling in acting because his range in the show is crazy. <laughs> and, I, and the detective, she's played by, is it the same actress from the first season? Yes, it is okay. I'll, yeah, I, I thought she looked familiar because I'm looking. I'm like, I know her. I know her face. So it is from from the first season. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I that was I, one of the things. Yeah, I know how you feel about the first season too, brother. But yeah. I'm recommending that you watch the second season. Well, I've heard so far, and I've heard from people who did not really care for the first season because mm -hmm. of acts that were in it mm -hmm. that they've enjoyed this. Uh, this second season, so that right there tells me a lot because I, I do want to go and watch it because I'm enjoying it. But I do enjoy that actress. I, I can't remember her name isn't is, isn't hitting me right now. Mm -hmm. But from what I saw in that season, she had range too, where she was playing like, yeah. you know, um, despondent and nervous and scared, but also brave. She had all these different range of emotions that she was played just in the three episodes that I saw. She was all over the place with them, and each one felt so convincing so real for the situation that she was in it made total sense yeah so to see her now in this other um horrifying situation yes like you said being a black woman being a detective being in la mm -hmm. at the time of the the um uh after uh the trials yes and it being in the 90s that yes. just sounds terrifying to me so i will have to check that out because yes. i want to see something more and amazon like you said I mean, two stories right there. We're talking about Amazon. Amazon really is hitting a note. Yes. I wish they were hitting such note that they would bring back the peripheral, but mm -hmm. what have you. But, <laughs> yes. you know, what have you. But they are doing really great work um, and such like that. So that's our new stories right now. But I do want to ask, brother, real quick, one question. If you have seen uh, Parish. I have not. <laughs> I've heard good things about Parish, and I do want to see it. I would recommend that because Giancarlo Esposito is Giancarlo Esposito. Oh well, yeah. I the, 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 the cat, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it it feels really good. It's nice. I like it. Mm -hmm. Um I have one caveat about it. Um, but aside from that, it's like a slow burn okay. kind of thing. I love the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Giancarlo always brings it. Um, and you really feel his desperation in this and his desperation of, you know, money and trying to keep a family together and also grieving mm -hmm. and trying to figure out how I'm going to get out of the situation, but also keep everything in my life together or make it better. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying that. I know we're going to be getting an uh, interview with a vampire oh, God. Uh, this month, I believe, May. Yeah. Obviously, we're going to be getting it back next week. I think it starts. Uh, season two looks like it's going to be an even more more of a barn burner than the first season. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy about that. Uh, it's a favorite of mine, so I will be glued to that as well. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, last thing I'll say is, brother, 
I know I told you about anime. Mm. If you don't want to watch it on Hulu, I understand. <laughs> Jujutsu Kaisen is coming to Netflix. Oh, the movie. Okay. So, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you about this horror action humor. Um, some body horror actually, but not 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 Cronenbergish, but <laughs> actually some body horror. Uh, funny and the animation is incredible and amazing. It will your jaw will drop when you watch it. Okay. So, folks, that's the show. Thank you so very much uh, for joining us for these uh, series of episodes. I want to put down. Here's the thing: thirty minutes or less, we want to give you some of the news stories that are happening in particular genres, whether it's gaming, whether it's comics, whether it is movies and series, whatever it is. We want to let you know about it. And thank you very much for joining us on this ride. We will see you next time. Have a very good day and um, enjoy the rest of it. All right, peace. Sure.